Hi guys, how's it going? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here in Six Rivers National Forest near Willow Creek, California. You may be wondering what this is. I thought I would finish this up this way. So you're going to see the ending first and then you'll go through and see how everything gets put together. I know that you're wondering what this is. Um, just a quick refresher real fast. Um, we are working on a new subscriber drive. So like, comment, share, and add to playlist, post in messy hands, or be a Patreon, and you're doing a point system. I give you the full details on the March 2nd video, so go back to that video, watch the first 15 minutes. It talks about all the fun stuff we're doing in March. Um, it took 15 minutes to talk about it, so please definitely go check that out. Um... We actually had a little bit of nice weather today. The rain stopped, thankfully, for the first time in, in quite a few days. So, um, pretty happy about that. So, you're wondering, most likely, what this is. <laughs> Let the show begin, right? So, um, this light pole, even though it does attach to this particular layout, God, how can I get you guys a better view of this? Hold on. Let me try to rearrange you just a little bit. Okay. Okay. That's a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it's really hard to get you perfectly uh, lined up in here. Okay. So I'm going to finish this up with you. But, uh, since the show must go on, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So I think I need to figure out some way that I can, um, have all of these stand up at the same time. I don't know what I would do with that. Of course, you probably won't be looking at the book this way, but um, that's what we're looking at, guys. Um, that was the final touch that I wanted to put on this particular layout. Now, still working on um, getting it pinned in here. So I'm going to fold this back up real fast. Put it in here. Put this all away. Put this all away so it doesn't... Okay. All right. So it's looped through this little light up here. And I'll put, I'll hang something else off of here. Maybe this needs a little bit more stabilizing. So I'm probably going to do some sort of, um, maybe I'll take the wooden ruler and have it go down the back of this book here. So, uh, I have these cool handy little things. I've taken a pliers and I've closed them up a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to reopen that just a little bit here. So these little clips are removable, of course. So I'm just going to clip it onto the book here. Have it come down have it come around. We're going to do some sort of loop maybe, huh? Do I have enough to do that? Do I have enough to do that? I think I do. Okay. Now, here's the question. If I do that, will I still be able to fold it down? Because it's got to be compact, right? You still have to make it into a book. <laughs> so it's going to have to fold one direction for sure. Or it'll just be one big mess. It will get 
tangled up too easily, which it already is a little bit tangled. Let's see here. Yeah, I like it like that. That. I think I can do that. Okay, I'm going to tighten this clamp here and tighten this clamp here. And then, and then, and then, what are we doing over here? That was not supposed to be looped through there yet. I don't know how, oh, oh, I know how it got through. It got through right there. It, it stuck on there on its own. Okay, I'm going to pull this out a little bit more. I don't really want a lot of extra slack in this because um, when you fold it down, I think it'll be better. I could talk definitively. It'll be better if there's less slack. I don't know if there will be or not. I have no clue. What's a circus book without lights? Are you kidding me? Gotta have lights on a circus book. <sighs> kidding? Must have. Okay, so I've already closed this up, so I'm going to open it up just a touch here. Stick this on this end. Just like I want it. Make it here so that it's the same. Okay, I'm going to flip that around so that the hook goes here. stick it down in oh, we're gonna stick this in there first and we're gonna close it up then we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna put it here so that one goes like this I think these are little Tim Holtz clips but I might have gotten them online or less expensive than what you can get the Tim Holtz one. I can't remember. They might be Tim Holtz ones. I might have just bought numerous sets of them. I used them for my um, jewelry display initially, and then I changed that display up. Okay, so I'm making it so that it's a little bit snugger there. More snug. Snugglier. And then, and then, I'm going to wire this puppy up. And, okay, so this is a, um, uh, it's a cork light here. You put into bottles, wine bottles. It actually has an on-off spot down here. So it can be used with each and every I got the light pole to work. <laughs> I just got it to work. Um, and so let's see how we can fold this down without making too big of a mess. Um, So when it folds up, it looks like this in the back. So yes, when this book gets presented, it will look similar to this. <laughs> A 
enjoy the video and you can see how it is all put together. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let me make sure I can put it back up. I'm gonna have to put a full instruction book with this thing, right? Because <laughs> people aren't gonna know what to do with it. <laughs> oh no, we got a cricket, here we go. Oh, 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 it came out of this guy. That's not good, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're gonna tighten this one down. Now, Maybe what I could do to help out the folding situation. I can't attach it to that. Maybe I could put a little, um, I like having it like this, but maybe I can put a little uh, wire or something here, a little flag. Hold on. Flag material. <laughs> oh, um, maybe put some, uh, I think I'll put some paper on that, but it depends on how it folds still when I do this. Welcome to the circus, baby. <laughs> Look, Ma, I did it. I put lights and 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 you can shut it off and on with a click of a button. This monstrosity. Look at girls up in lights. All right, here's the video. Bye. We'll chat soon. And real quick, in case you're wondering, this little light box sits in here. Perfect. So. Uh, I will be starting on these pages and I need to get the back pages glued down and then and then I think I still have to do this one here <laughs> I made it light up <laughs> oh by the way, uh, the idea for this came uh, when Kat and I were sitting down and had our lunch and we were brainstorming this layout. Yes, this layout has taken me, goodness, well, since mid-January to finish, just with the move and everything else. But um, throughout our brainstorm with how I was wanting to have these show up, um, I was like, oh, then maybe it could be like lights and you know, indicating the lights. And then she's like, or you could use real lights. And then all of a sudden I was like, ding, 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 ding. Yes, I can. All right, guys, we'll chat soon. Bye. Hi, guys, how's it going? Stephanie Ani coming to you once again here from the banks of the Trinity River. I don't know if this is going to be my intro or if it's going to be like my second intro because the intro then can show you what I'm making and then the second intro can tell you what I'm thinking before I actually get to the thought process or or, or making it happen. <laughs> All right so I keep telling you that um, 
this layout inside the big top isn't finished yet. And you might all be asking, what else is left? Well, <laughs> I've got an idea and I don't know if it'll work and I don't really know how I'm going to mount it onto the book. And yes, this is going to take some construction and it's going to take some brainstorming and um, I'm going to have to look around and see what I can use to, uh, I, I need to find a little box. This is going to be, this is going to be, um, okay, well, we're just going to get down to the table here and I'm going to see if I can do it. Okay, guys. Bye. I don't know if you can tell by my art table, but I like have no room here. <laughs> what the hell? How does this always happen? How does this always happen? I've only been back at the art table for like a couple, couple days and it's already just exploded here. Um, all right, I'm going to try to fix this up a little bit here. I need some room for this. Okay. I think I have the components that I need, I think. Now, the first thing that I want to do is this is a foldable ruler that I found on Amazon. I did take off, uh, I think it was like 24 inches. I took off some, put a couple holes in here, but those holes probably won't be used now. I'm not sure on that. Um, this thing is bright, ugly, plastic yellow, and I don't know what's going to work. Now, another option that I'll probably use in here is, um, maybe I should have just used it first, is alcohol ink. Because I know alcohol, or Sharpie? Sharpie, Sharpie, we'll try Sharpie. I can't have anything that's this brown, or this yellow, this plastic in here, right? So with this plastic, I really need to have something that will cover it. That will also, hmm. with the folding and unfolding of what is going to happen with this guy, you may be going, what the heck is she doing with that? Well, you're going to see. You're going to see. I promise you, I'll tell you soon. I like that. Um, I just don't know how much it's going to stay. So let's pull out uh, some, oh, hey, here's a paint pen. This is enamel paint pen. This is a tester's enamel paint marker. So we're gonna see. I just don't want it bright yellow in any way, shape or form. Uh, we're just gonna just grunge it up. Now this is not gonna come off my fingers easily here, guys. This is heavy duty stuff. Just be aware of it when you use it, that this is enamel paint. It's, of course, definitely more toxic. Um, if you have smell sensitivity, if you have paint sensitivity, you know, the only thing that really gets off enamel is going to be, again, alcohol or uh, possibly, like, nail polish remover, acetate remover. Is that right? Acetate? Not acetate. Well, maybe it's acetate. Hard to say. We're just staining anything that is ugly, bright, plastic looking. I like that it's a ruler. I'm not trying to hide that it's a ruler. I'm trying to hide that it's a brand new yellow ruler. It's a little keychain ruler. Got it off Amazon. It was a extra purchase thing. So it was super cheap. And if I remember, I'll put it in the, um, in my Amazon list. Sometimes it's hard to remember those things. I made a whole dollar 25 off of Amazon last month. <laughs> God. Doing all of those lists and, uh, product lists, you know, it, it takes a lot. Um, but I hope at some point you guys will start using them more and more. Uh, and I know not everybody can go out and just buy whatever product, you know, fits their whimsy. 
uh, I'm in that spot myself now. Um, I would love to get some of the luminary paints. Uh, that's really something I want to play with. Uh, what was her name? Judy. I um, shared a post to uh, Messy Hands. Um, and she works a lot with the luminary paints and, and stuff like that. So I would really love to um, kind of play with that uh, process in my journal with me. Okay, so that's good and grungy. Ooh, that's yellow still. Let's see if we can knock down that yellow. Okay. Okay. Book. So I did it so that I did put some holes in this already and before I put this in I did make some holes in here and maybe I will just use those holes again. Because maybe I don't need to, I was thinking I needed to push it down further in here, but I don't think that I do. That hole has got to be right in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So, before I put this into the book, I made holes in this back piece. And I made those holes so that they'll match this. Now this hole was right next to a um, one of my hinges. This is going to be challenging, guys. Anybody guessing what it is yet? <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, got that in there. Now this is just a jeweler's wire. You can use any type of wire that you have. I don't know how this will work. Probably like a bailing wire would even be better. We need something that's going to be super strong. That's not going to break. This is the type of wire that I use to make my jewelry with. I'm hoping that I can get it tight enough. I don't know if this is the right product to use. We're going to try it and we're going to see. So you just cut it. You can even use a fingernail clippers to cut it. Again, you don't have to use jeweler's wire. It just was kind of the first thing that came to my mind. All right. So let's go into here real fast. Since these... All right. Here's the cool thing about this book now is that I can completely open it up to whatever page I need it to be and it doesn't stress the book at all. So I'm going to pull that out, that out. See what I'm doing? Hopefully. Okay. So I think I'm actually going to pull these off real fast. One at a time. I'm trying to keep in mind which direction I had them in. I don't know if I have to take off all of them, but that's convenient, I can take them off, huh? Um, I think what you guys didn't see me do is I did put a little bit of glue down in here on each side so that it wouldn't continue to spin. Okay. Where's my X-Acto blade once again? It's probably right under here and I'm probably gonna poke my eyes out. 
with my hand. Ah, here it is. Okay. So these holes I had just the crocodile wasn't going into there, of course, with these things in there. So I just made a hole with this. One tool that I absolutely do need to get is uh, an uh, eyelet rivet setter that's uh, just a handheld tool. I'd also like to get a hole punch that's a handheld tool so that I don't have to worry about this. Um, how do I want to string this in here? Let's grab one of our book binding needles because we're going to have to be able to poke it through here, right? All right, we have a piece of wire that I just cut. Seriously? Good God. I did clean things off. I don't know if I can do this. We're gonna try. I could get out my jewelry tools to do it. I know that. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't have to, because then you guys don't have the same tools that I have. All right. So let's take this and make it tight. That should not be going anywhere. Perfect. All right. Now, I probably should have made that longer. Oh, well. Okay. So, I'm putting the hinges to the back. making more room for myself here. All right, through there. We don't want it to go all the way through. We want to bring it back up to here. Come on. Here it is. Go. Now, I'm going to loop it through here. See how my hinges have closed. We don't want that. Pulling that as tight as I can. I want it super tight, super duper tight. We're going to do a quick loop in there. All right. All right give me one second, guys. I've got to go turn off my heater.
it does cause pulling on this wire does cause it to buckle that is expected it's not there's not anything wrong with it it is expected it just takes a, it's a little more challenging to work with the more that it does it so that's when you're making jewelry and if your wire does that you pretty much kind of have to start over it is not a good thing when you're making a necklace Okay, so here again, I'm going to bring it through the bottom. I don't know if this is proper enough to do this, but we're just trying to get this as tight as we can get it, as we can get it, as we can get it. There we go. All right, we're going to bring it down here again. We're just doing figure eights, basically. Bring it up through the back. Pulling tighter and tighter and tighter all the time. Gonna bring another one back in here. Whoops, oops, oops. Like that. No, we're not gonna bring another one in there yet. Just one loop. It's actually quite stable in there. Now, watch your fingers when you're doing this. This is wire, it will cut you. You can do this with anything that you choose to use as long as it's super strong. just pull these wires in here so that it folds down and sucks it in we don't want a lot of extra here Hmm. No, we don't want the pages to catch on that at all. So we're going to hopefully not have that issue. Put this back in there right away from my book binding kit that I bought. Trim all the wires. I probably should have done that part on the other side. Hopefully I don't have to do it over. Garbage. Those wires will poke you. They will. Piece of tape. And 
hopefully it's not too tall. Nope, it's not. Okay, good. All right. Uh, let's get, oh, there's the gaffers here. Let's get just some gaffers tape on here. One of these is definitely a tool that you need on your table. Okay, come on, baby. You will see that. It's all right. I don't mind it. There's a little added extra patch of what the heck is that, right? I don't want any white, but I don't mind just this little mm, random bit of tape there. And that was the gaffer's tape. Some tape I would mind. Gaffer's tape I don't mind. Kind of looks like a little bit like tip repairs, right? Okay. Let's see if I need to remove that one. Let's put this guy in. didn't get that one. So I'm going to get these other ones on and I'll be right back. Okay, it's a good thing I don't have to do this very often. Hopefully that's the last time I have to undo those guys. Okay. Because, well, it's not too bad with the crowding, right? Okay, so what's this big stick sticking up? What the heck is this for? <laughs> All right. So we want this to be able to go down like this and there. So I'm going to gaffers tape this joint and any joint that's not going to bend. See what I'm doing? Hopefully. And I'll take some stays on over the top of that and make sure we don't have any white. to be exact just kind of adds to the randomness of what I'm doing here Oops. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. So you see how I've got this here? Let's just... Let's just try some stays on. Let's see how that works better. Since we know that this is going to get grunged up here anyway, we're just going to just take that down right off the bat. Especially since what we got coming up next here is going to partially cover up something, something here. Something, somehow we're going to make it work. Okay. So we have a retractable pull. I guess I could make the pole go this way purposefully. That way I could build over here in the center of the book. And yes, I do have to build. So that's my next challenge is, how do I make a little house for this? Ah, that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, so let's bring back these guys. And uh, this has already been tested. This is a uh, six foot long LED lights. Before I connect this in, I'm gonna make sure that I have them um, open here and ready to go. This is a watch battery in here. Actually, it's three watch batteries, so it's a little bit harder to um, change out than just the standard cork. These are cork uh, lights. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, paint. paint this. I'm going to move this out of the way while I paint this. Again, we're just going to take this enamel paint because it covers the best. You have to remove the little battery protector. 
All right, I'm just gonna paint this and I'll bring you back. So I've painted this with the black enamel. And then this is the pad that I used uh, for the Piccolate. Uh, this has some gold in it and some purple in it. Just remnants of alcohol ink, permanent ink. And it's just kind of giving this great little goldness to it. See what we got? This ink pad isn't gonna last very long on there, but well. Okay. So it's very sticky right now. How is this going to be able to sit in there? I could gaffers tape it. I know that. But to gaffers tape, we're gonna have to be able to remove those little batteries probably at some point. But I don't know if we're gonna worry about those right yet. So let's see what we've got. Well, this guy is going to sit right in there. And then the question is, is how? How do we make it sit right in there? It's going to be the best way so that we can take it off and put it back on. Oh, so we also have to be careful of this guy swinging in and out. So however we do it, we have to watch out for that. We have to make sure that that's accessible. Or do we figure out how to, you know, you've always got to think of your other options, guys. What about that? I think that makes more sense like that. And then we'll put a little hand on it, a little pointy finger, right? I liked having it inside. Or we put it up here. That might be better. So that way this swings this way. But this still stays nice and safe. All right, so we're gonna have to construct something. Four-sided box with a bottom. That is two and a half centimeters. Let's see here. What do we got? All right. We're going to need an inch square box with a bottom. And oh my goodness, I wish I had swoopy. Let's see here real quick if we can do it like that. you're trying to figure out how to do this easiest, right? Jeepers. All right, guys, I'm going to cut uh, a couple more of those out and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so I had cut those like that, but now I had a better, maybe hopefully better idea. Because trying to glue those and having them stay together would be pretty tough. So let's just try to score this instead. So I cut this height down to two and a half. This thing is two inches tall. So let's just go here. We're not cutting all the way through, we're scoring. 
is don't push it all the way down. Make sure that you make your lines straight with each other, okay? It's going to be important with this that you take your time and you measure properly. And I know we're all capable of, of doing this correctly, right? Take your time. It is going to be important, like I said. Oh, come on now, quit moving on me. You could always use a piece of tape. That'd probably be easier. She says as she's sitting here trying to make it stay in one place. <laughs> so I've got quarter pressure on this X-Acto knife that what I had here. Use a sharp blade, guys. Dull blades cause accidents. Okay. So this is our four sides. Cut this guy off. Mm. We might have to make that smaller. See? You scored it. Ta-da! Let's see. Is it too big? Yes. It is too big. Not surprising. Um, we just want to take a width. Probably two widths off of each end. Now, one other thing that I do want to do on that is, I'll show you in just a second. Probably, I don't know if you have to do this bottom, but uh, it would be much better to have, you know, a bottom. We're just making a little bottom here. Uh, I took a little bit too much off. Of course, I only needed to take one width instead of two widths on that second cut. Okay. To me, it's important that I get this right. You do not have to do it this way. Um, you know what would actually work would be like a little bulb box. You know, some little small inch by inch box by two inches tall. Um, I don't know what other boxes they would have that would be similar to that. Okay, see how that's one width there? Let's do this guy to one width. That one almost is. Watch your fingers with a sharp blade. Okay, that was probably too much, but I've got it halfway through. It's not all the way through. That's good. All right. One last thing I want to do is make sure that I have a hole for my on-off switch, which is, as you can see, right down here at the bottom. So... I'm going to look at that. I'm going to make this be my front. And in doing that, I'm going to, I only need to have, oh, maybe a centimeter. So we're going to give it a little bit extra space there. Right there. We'll give it a half inch, huh? I want to try something first. I want to just try to do a um, a, uh, a hatch first. 
see if that works. Actually, I think I'm cutting the wrong direction. I am cutting the wrong direction. Let's go ahead and just take it out. Now, I could have also cut a piece here that stayed connected. Would have been better if I had done that. I just didn't think about it. This is my first attempt at this, so I don't really know what I'm doing. It's working though. Okay love it all right um let's put a, a bead of glue down here this is going to get covered this is not going to just be this dry. That's still not dry, but it's got a fairly good hold. We're going to go ahead and put this guy on here so we don't glue it to the board. Let's do this. This glue, glue dries fast, so we're able to do this with this, hopefully. There we go. Building little bottles. Look at that. Made a little on-off switch box. And you know I'm going to have one of those hands pointing down there, right? Now, let's see. I don't know if I got that quite even there. Let's see. Even here. My legs quit sticking them under my chair. There we go. All right. Next. Oh, I had seen them. Let me find my paper that I want to put on here. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and do it with this because this will just continue to reinforce this. I was going to do it with Mod Podge, but um, we're going to do it with this instead. Now I will probably put a layer of Mod Podge over the top of it. to protect it and then we'll stain it of course with our fired brick and our amber or our stays on we use either stays on or something like that uh, let's do this guy here first there we go this is super stick super sticky Super sticky. The super sticky. Oh shit. Super sticky. Super sticky. Super sticky. I'm making an absolute mess out of it. <laughs> okay, remember we don't have to do the back. I do want that to be nice and tight there though. Okay. And this guy here. I am intending for it to have kind of these different patterns um, like I did I'm mimicking what I did um, inside the book which is just kind of these random patterns right I wanted the front to be straight up and down but other than that I don't really care okay so I'm gonna glue these guys on here now this little box has a whole lot of staying power. I don't think it'll go anywhere. Oh, 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 come back here. There we go. My hands are so sticky. Okay. Ready the lights. Okay, I'm going to kind of curl this here just a little bit. I could glue that down all the way, but I'm kind of wanting it to be kind of rough looking. Okay, uh, let's find our inks. Little the tarnish bronze now I know I have lids over here I've been trying to save my jar lids I need my fired brick and my amber I'll take a little of this here this is picked a raspberry which doesn't work this was like the cherry red. No, that's not working either. Well, let's try the Tangerine Dream. Seriously, what the heck? Every single bottle doesn't work? Every single one?
Dirt and grunge, dirt and grunge. A little shimmer. Tangerine Dream is similar to... No, I kind of want the red or tone, no. Well, let's see if I fired Brickworks. I found it. Yep, it worked. <laughs> brick goes with that color better there. Well, let's see if we can get some yellow in here somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Ah, mustard seed. Okay. Let's see how we're tattering that. I don't know if it's going to stay like that. That might be a little too tattered for me. Uh-oh, 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 I'm pushing in that. That's not good. Let's try a little more tarnished brass on here. I'm not going to stress about it, guys. All right. A little bit more than I planned on. It's still just fine. And again, this is going to have that little hand over it. So and this is on the back. I'll push that down here a little bit more. I'm just doing a little outlining with it now. I'll go back over with a Sharpie. we go. The little power box. <laughs> okay. So this needs to sit on a flat spot. Let's look at it one more time as far as placement goes. If I place it on that side, I'm going to have to glue that piece on there. Oh, so that's the difference. I didn't Mod Podge this uh, container. So the color took it differently. Right? It was much more extreme. And in depth than what it would have been if I had Mod Podged it first. Makes the paper a lot more vulnerable. Okay. Now, the one thing about this is that it's not a perfectly flat surface, and is that it does need. To bend. So this is most likely our flattest surface and our safest place to mount that to. See how that works? So even if you squeeze it together the tightest it can go, it still has enough space somehow. <laughs> Okay, well, that's going to be our little lighthouse. It's still very wet. I probably should just let that dry for a couple of minutes. 
Okay, well, I was going to glue some pages together, but I had to go take a walk for, for a potty break. For no munchkin man. So, how are we going to do this? That is the next question of the day, huh? Okay. All right, let's get one lift here. Now, do we have enough stability here? Let's go ahead and add an extra little bit of glue under there. Uh, I have E6000. Will this work? Now, I've got one of these little guys. I don't really want to deal with this. With that big tube fighting me. Of course, you know, you take this little thing here and pop it there. Okay, so I'm going to take this E6000 Put it right in between here and there. A good squirt. Why am I doing that? I just want to make sure that it stays where I want it to stay. I don't want it to go all over the place. And, uh, you know, this is also kind of covering up that bit right there. That's good. Okay. All right. So, now we're also going to use the same E6000 to attach this to that. So let's get the extra book in there. Stay up and down, stay vertical, buddy, please. Um, where's... No, that's not the one. Jeepers. Oh, it's down there. That's why. Okay. So we're making sure that that stays vertical. And that stays where we want it to stay. And so we're, again, only going to be putting this on that much of this. Right? But we really want this to be in the right spot. You see how I'm measuring that up? So, I can look here. Let's just put it in right there at above where that line is there. Oh, that's not very much space. So let's uh, add a little spacer in here, uh, which just means we need a little bit of this um, here. Where are we putting it? That's the right uh, Um, let's uh, clear this off. Where's my exacto? Shit. Where is it? Did I put the exacto away? Am I going to put my hands all over it? I mean, what did I do with it? did put it away. Look at that. Okay. So I'm going to operate and take this off right there. Be careful when you're doing this. Do not get your hands in the way of your exacto blade. All right? Always cut away from you when you can. As my dad would have told me.
Perfect. All right. So we still got that sitting where it's supposed to be. All right. So this is, I guess, a half an inch wide. And these pieces are not. So I'm going to make this one one inch. Oh, here, look at there. We're just going to take a half inch here. Approximate a half inch, a little bit under a half inch. Come on, make a straight line. It's starting to get dull. This blade is, and it's going where it wants to go. Okay, so why am I cutting these two pieces? Well, because I want this to have a flatter back. I want to have it as much stability as possible. So, um, we're going to have to probably build two layers. It actually kind of needs one and a half, but two is fine here. Let's look there. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so we're just going to take our E6000, we're going to glue it down here, and this is going to squish out. Now we want to kind of squish and move in there. I need to get my other light fixed. I thought I had grabbed a light bulb. I don't know where the light bulb went to. It's gonna fold down on that one. Okay. <laughs> All of a sudden I'm like, oh god, that's not where my fold is gonna go, is it? <laughs> um, do we want to put one more layer of tape over it? I don't know. We might put a layer of tape around it. Honestly. Okay, so then we want this guy to go here. Is that taller than that? Nope, it's just about right. Lid. He loves it when I put toys in his toy box, then he can pull them out. He's playing so good by himself, I don't want to interrupt him. So we're centering that. Um, let's go ahead and pull it here. We want to make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure that it is centered properly. Right? And this might create a little bit of a mess. I'll clean it later. I can't move it right now delicate operations. Alright, so now I need to just let this dry. Okay, don't touch it anymore. Just let it be. Except I need to make sure it's even. Straight up and down. If I set it upright though, it's not going to dry properly. Thunder Paws is in full puppy mode. What I did was I put um, some gaffer's tape around it. So um, with the gaffer's tape, 
I just added a little extra stability. And then we're gonna pop that in there. Then I've taken these hooky things and you know how they have a more open hook. I've hooked them less, right? I don't know if this is how I'm gonna do the final part here yet. Um, so what I do wanna do here real quick is take some of my Timber Brown. Go along here. Just run a little bit more vintage on it. Let's see if I can get you guys a better view here. There we go. Now, again, I did the back side. We know I'm going to do all the sides on this. Like this. Okay, uh, I'm going to let this dry a little bit longer before I uh, start messing with it anymore. Okay, we'll be back. And then real quick, in case you're wondering, this little light box sits in here. Perfect. So, uh, I will be starting on these pages, and I need to get the back pages glued down. And then, and then, I think I still have to do this one here. <laughs> I made it light up. 